Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest news and updates. Today, we have some sad news to share. Heather Armstrong, widely known as the Queen of Mommy Blogging, has passed away at the age of 47. Heather gained immense popularity in the 2000s through her blogging website Deuce, where she candidly documented the joys and challenges of motherhood, relationships, and personal struggles. Her partner, Pete Ashdown, discovered her in their Utah home on Tuesday night. Let's take a moment to remember Heather Armstrong and her significant contributions to the blogging world. At its peak, Deuce attracted over 8 million visitors per month in 2009, solidifying Heather's influence and reach. In the same year, she was recognized by Forbes as one of the 30 most influential women in media. Heather initially launched Deuce in the early 2000s as an outlet to discuss various topics, such as work, relationships, and her experience leaving the Mormon Church. Interestingly, the name, Deuce, stemmed from an inside joke about Heather's struggles spelling, dude, quickly during online chats. However, Heather's journey was not without obstacles. In 2002, she was fired from her web designer job in Los Angeles after her snarky blog, where she humorously nicknamed her co-workers, was traced back to her. The incident sparked a public debate about privacy and propelled even more traffic to her blog. Undeterred, Heather relaunched Deuce six months later, this time with a different focus, as she began chronicling her pregnancy and embracing an honest writing style. Let us remember Heather Armstrong as a pioneer in the blogging world, a courageous voice for mothers everywhere, and an inspiration to many. Our thoughts and prayers go out to her loved ones during this difficult time. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health issues, please reach out for help. Remember, you are never alone. Thank you for joining us today. And please take a moment to cherish your loved ones and show kindness to everyone you meet. Until next time, take care.